Hello and welcome to Michigan Golf Live Television. I'm Bill Hobson and I'm excited about the next few moments because we get a chance to introduce to you a very special place. It takes you somewhere back in time where rest, relaxation and refinement all combine to make some amazing memories. If you've never been to Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island, join us as we head inside and showcase for you a place that is gorgeous both inside and out. And yes, there is some golf coming along the way. Come on along. Welcome to Michigan Golf Live Television, shining the spotlight on the top places for you to stay, play, relax, and enjoy the greatest game on earth. MGL TV is presented by Ashworth. All we do is golf. Traverse City, the ultimate golf destination. Historic Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island. Grand Traverse Resort and Spa. And by the Golf Association of Michigan. Stay connected to MGL 24-7 on Facebook, Twitter, online, and the free MGL mobile app for Android and iPhone. MGL TV starts now. If you have been here before, you don't need my help to identify the location of today's program. Hello and welcome to Michigan Golf Live Television. I'm Bill Hobson and for the uninitiated, we're at Historic Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island, a place special for so many reasons, including as the biennial destination of the MGL Grand Golf Getaway. On today's program, we want to take you on a tour inside the hotel and outside of the Jewel Golf Course, 18 wonderful holes and also introduce you to what it's like to be a guest at the Grand Golf Getaway. So let's get started by visiting with the man at the helm of this family owned and operated historic hotel. I've been coming here all my life and, uh, and yet every time and the first time in the spring I take the ferry boat over and I look up and I see the hotel, there's a moment that I, I have experienced that same thing, even being here all these years. And there's something magical about this island, uh, you know, the, the lack of automobiles, the, the setting, this, the history, and uh, there's something special about it, there's no doubt. When we walk through the gallery, we can see the photos of all of the famous guests that have stayed here over the years. But one of the things that has always impressed me the most is that you really make everybody feel that way, whether you've heard of them or not. Well, certainly that's the goal. And uh, obviously not every one of our guests is a president or president of the United States. And, and that, I guess that's the most important thing. Uh, for everyone to realize that uh, we are open to everyone. In fact, uh, that is who we serve and that's who makes this place viable. Um, whether that's a honeymoon couple, anniversary couple, a first time guest or one that's been coming for 20 seasons. All of that make Grand Hotel possible. What a gorgeous setting and a, and a gorgeous view. You, you've been coming here for a long time. What does it mean to you to come to Grand Hotel? It's been 30 years for me here and Every spring when I come over on the ferry for the first time, it, you still get goosebumps seeing what a beautiful place not only Mackinac Island is, but what a magnificent building and Lady Grand Hotel is. And it, uh, it does give you goosebumps. At our golf getaways, we have some guests who have been with us for a number of years, and then we always have those first timers. And it's fun, at least for me, to watch their jaws drop when they get on that porch and they come to our reception and things like that. You see that all the time. What's that first timer experience? Well, first of all, we love first timers. You know, we, we build our business on guests, serving guests well and getting them to come back. So don't get me wrong, we love guests to return as well. But I think that genuine reaction you get for the a guest who comes for the first time, that walks out onto the porch, that sees the view, that sees the guest rooms, that sees the dining room, you know, you can't, you can't uh, replace or you can't recreate a first time experience. And I think, you know, the only way you get somebody to come back, obviously, is to get them to come the first time. And when you, you live up to what they have built up in their mind as to how wonderful it's going to be, that's how you develop very loyal guests. And that's the prin uh, principle with which the Musters have built their business. We have, over the years, partnered together on a really fun package both in June and September, a, a Grand Golf Getaway. That experience has, has, at least to me, helped me meet and make a number of friends over the years who we only see each other here. What's that package like from the hotel's perspective and, and make the case for why somebody watching who's never come 
would do well to come. Well, first of all, we appreciate the relationship with you and Michigan Golf Live very much. The value of the package, the receptions that are included, the meals that are included, the ability to play golf with people who like to play golf as well, meet new people, and quite honestly, they're people that follow the television program and the radio show and, and like to have interaction with you. And I think uh, golf is just important enough to the weekend but it's still about visiting Mackinac Island and Grand Hotel and that special experience that people get. And I, I'd like to think that all the things we include as part of the package make it a great value. And I think the true testament is, and the reason it's lasted so long, is those people who came in the beginning go back home, and you know how golf people are. They, they talk with their friends on the golf course after a round of golf, and they start telling them what a great time they had. And word of mouth is as good of advertising as we can do. And we appreciate the weekend, and, and uh, it's, it's a fun event. I think uh, the true compliment is that people come back because when they come and have a good time, they go back, they come back the next time, and they bring a couple friends with them. And that's how we get to the numbers that we have for all these weekends that we do now. What is it about this destination that brings you folks here? What do you like about it? I, I think for us, it's the seclusion out here on the island being surrounded by water and just the beauty that God has given us here to enjoy. How about the golf side of it? That's <laughs> just what I was going to say. We're here for the golf weekend. It is just a lot of fun. A little different take on golf because everything's so laid back. It's just totally different from your everyday hustle and bustle. It was in the mid 80s when the Jewel Golf Course's main nine, the Grand Nine, underwent a pretty radical transformation. And thankfully at the helm of that is a visionary who has, well, he's displayed his handiwork all across the state of Michigan. When you come to play at Grand Hotel, you'll be playing a masterpiece created by Jerry Matthews. It's a rare treat to be able to visit with a man whose hands have been in this island dirt for so long. It's back in the 80s that you renovated the uh, the Grand Nine, right? Started in uh, 1984, three years ahead of the uh, 100th anniversary of the Grand Hotel. When you're given an assignment like that, knowing that a lot of people are going to see it, it's going to be part of the history of the property, is there extra pressure? Well, I don't think there was because I don't think I realized what I was getting into until it started and got to know Mr. Musser very well. This is. A I think a unique piece of property for, for a nine-hole golf course. We're only on about 36 acres, and so in trying to get you know nine golf holes of, of uh, anything out of 35 acres, but a great little piece of ground. I think you just make the golf course fit the land as best as you can. It's a special experience to play golf on the island. The old joke that every putt breaks towards the water gets old after a while, but uh, thank you for your work in making this not just an amenity, but a great golf experience as well. Thank you. I've, uh, I've certainly enjoyed working here. It's, uh, as you know, there's no mechanical uh, means available on this island. You get some hard labor. You, you ship everything by boat over to what they call British Landing, and then it's hauled by horses and trays and whatever here. It's, it's an experience. I well, love it here. Why? I do. It is. It's just a beautiful setting. The golf is wonderful, and you put on a really nice package, too. So we enjoy meeting new people in the outings that they have, and so it's a lot of fun. Welcome back to Michigan Golf Live Television at Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island. And a lot of you over the years have watched the programs we've done from this special place and thought, I would really like to go there, and the hotel would love to have you. Every room in this grand old place is special. There have been some recent additions to the family. We're up here on the fourth floor where a burst of color and space and beauty and unmatched views all come together in what they call the cupola suites. And if you've never been to the grand, might I suggest you give this route a try. Dan Musser and his father had the idea to, to expand up into that fourth floor for many, many years. And it took us some time to get the resources to be able to do that, because as you might imagine, anytime you raise the roof on a, on a wood structure that's 120 some years old, 
it, it can be interesting. And so, nerve-wracking, I would think. And nerve-wracking and expensive. But uh, we started with the Musser Suite in honor of Mr. Musser because we felt uh, that ver to be very appropriate. It's decorated specifically with uh, by Carlton Varney uh, with things that Mr. Musser likes and enjoyed and colors he enjoyed. But then the master plan is to continue all the way down across the fourth floor. And, and they still, they're going to have the feel of Grand Hotel with bright colors and, and special amenities. But at the same time, uh, because of the dormers and the step-up dormers and all the guest rooms, which offer wonderful views of the Straits, uh, they're going to be unlike no other rooms in the hotel because we don't have any elevation change in any of those guest rooms. And when you go sit up in one of those dormers and look out across the Straits of Mackinac, it's almost as if you're on a cruise ship because you feel like you're just looking right over the water and it's very flexible space. We're designing them so that they can be one bedroom suites or two bedroom suites with connectors that can be uh, opened or closed off, uh, which we think uh, a lot of uh, convention groups, families that come to Grand Hotel, likes the flexibility of that space and we think we're giving them what they want. Well, it's, it's the whole thing. It's the ambiance, uh, it's the people that we meet, uh, it's the golf, it's it's, it's so special that other people have even asked, my relatives have asked us to come up, you know, hey, can we come up with you? And we say, no, this is our little vacation. That is, it's just our own, and, it, and it's just spectacular. The people that we've met here, the golf courses are beautiful, the views. We've been inviting guests to join us here at Grand Hotel for a number of years now as part of our Grand Golf Getaway, and they love it. I mean, how could you not? It's the hotel experience, the island feel, and they also comment every single time on the quality of the golf experience and the great service provided by head golf professional Jason Horrocks and his team. Jason, you have seen a lot of golfers come through your pro shop over the last several years, and they start here on the Grand Nine where, um, where, where Jerry Matthews has done some pretty cool things since the mid 80s. How do you describe this nine? Well, I like to think of it as kind of like a Parkland feature to it. Uh, you know, the front nine has a lot of history to it. It's been here over 100 years, and, uh, and Jerry did some great changes to it uh, to make it a, a great nine. Uh, it's not very long. It's about 2,400 yards in length, par is 33. Um, but the changes he did, uh, for example, we're overlooking the seventh hole here today, and uh, which in the past used to be a par four, and changing to a, a beautiful par three with a peninsula green uh, surrounded by water there. And uh, it's, it's one of the toughest par threes you'll play, but and uh, one of the most beautiful par threes you'd ever play as well. So. I still tend to play number seven as a par four, yeah. just so you know. My scorecard would reflect that. Par is a great score, that's for sure. Right from the opening tee here, even though it is a shorter nine holes, it's not easy. Um, you said par is 33. But I'm going to guess that a lot of folks come in with a scorecard surprised that they didn't shoot something near par. This is this has got some challenge. It's a good test for your short game. Uh, you know, the greens are not very large. They didn't, you know, 100 years ago, they didn't have the big equipment to make them large. It, uh, so uh, your short game is tested here. Uh, the fairways are, are pretty narrow. Uh, so something off the tee, you know, accurate is more important than uh, hitting that long drive out there. One of the insider tips that I've learned years ago that uh, I think we would be wise to share with those who have never been here especially is that most of the putts that you hit will break towards the boat docks, right? right exactly. We don't say the water like some places do because we are surrounded by water. We are on an island, but it, uh, the, a lot of the putts do break toward town there. So. Been some renovations in the last several months and there'll be some more ahead to, to make views even more spectacular and to open some things up. Can you chat about how the course is kind of growing up as it grows older. Well, Jerry Matthews came in in the 80s to redesign it and it's 30 years later so some of those changes need to be updated and there's some uh, tee box renovations that we've done recently on holes number six and hole number nine, uh, also number four on the, on the men's tee and uh, kind of open up some vistas on the golf course so you can see uh, the beautiful views that we have here on the Grand Nine. Um, and we have some more changes to come. Uh, we've added uh, a driving range net, a uh, four station net that you can come and warm up uh, before you play. And uh, it's something that's kind of new to our facility uh, before we hit really only had a couple putting greens to get you started. So now you can loosen up and hit a few swings and head to the first tee. So. And if your game needs some additional help, they can even come ask you for some lessons Well, now. they could. I, I'm here available for that help as well. So. Grand Hotel is a place of such rich history that it can almost be intimidating at times when you're making your first visit. You don't want to miss anything. Well, I've got a man I'd like you to meet. 
He has been seated at the concierge desk for a very long time and knows every nook and cranny of this wonderful place. His name is Bob Taggins. Our goal is to always change, to always move, to not to be static, not to be a museum. I mean, the real goal is to offer as many modern amenities to our travelers as we can, but we never want to forget who we are and where we came from and what makes us different and unique in this world, and that is being an honest, genuine historical destination. When you give tours, when you talk to guests about this, the rich history of Grand Hotel, where do you start? It's hard. Um, the evolution is basically a product of the Second American Industrial Revolution. It created uh, a pocket of wealth. It, it created America's first leisure class. Transportation evolved faster than we did in the lodging business. The majority of the wealth was created in cities. They were miserable places to be in the heat of the summer. So transportation companies needed grand destinations. This genre of hotel, there was over 1,200 in 1904. Today there's 11 left standing of the big wood frames. And two thirds of those were either built, financed, or built, financed, and run through transportation companies to create grand destinations to take people out of the hot cities. And that's where we came from initially. When when you, when you step back a few hundred yards or you see a picture taken of the entire hotel itself, it is, it is such a, a majestic vision. You come over on the ferry boat and everybody gets out the camera and they start seeing that. You've seen it a lot of times for a lot of years. It, it, is it, it still fresh? Oh my gosh. It, you know, technically we should look like these Victorian summer cottages on either side, but our builder literally said they want the classic revival, the Tuscan columns, because they said nothing else would look quite right. And they said it would look fresh and elegant a hundred years. It's been 129 years, and when you come up, nothing else would look right except for this big grand hotel up on this block. I think that's what they call vision, vision. way back then, right? <laughs> All right, Ashley, I understand you have been elected spokeswoman for this group. Yes, I am. <laughs> How much fun are you having? A lot of fun. Um, I'm uh, kind of a beginner golfer, and these guys have been amazing at like teaching me a few things, and I thought today was just very, very wonderful. We tried to make it no pressure. Have you yeah. just, you've been able to relax, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. What is this grand hotel experience like for you? Oh, it's just amazing. Like when I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to come here. My parents and I took like a carriage tour around the island and even like toured the grand hotel. And last year, um, it was our first anniversary, mine and my husband, Ed. And um, we were just kind of browsing places we wanted to go. And I was like, what would your, would your thoughts be about going to the Grand Hotel? And he, um, he was like, okay, let's, let me check it out. And he was like, wow, this looks, this looks great. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back to Michigan Golf Live Television at Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island. Those of you who have watched this show for a while, you know that I don't really like this kind of thing. Dessert's just not for me. So I whipped up a little something for you called the, uh, the Grand Hobson Special as we continue looking at all the special reasons you should visit Grand Hotel. Here you go. Has the demeanor changed over the years to where now it's, you'll see even more families here at Grand Hotel. And I think of the summertime scenes in the pool. I made a conscious decision about a decade or, or ago or so that we needed to focus more on young families traveling with children uh, and attract them to the hotel. And we've augmented our children, children's program. We've uh, done a few things to make it a little more family friendly and yet still keep the traditions like the coat and tie in our main dining room that make us unique and I think special. And though there are families that, that are traveling with children that maybe not every night they want to put the coat and tie and go to the dining room, but at least one night they do. And that's, that's usually their most memorable evening with us. I maintain my belief that it's impossible to be stressed out sitting on the front porch at Grand Hotel. I think that it starts the moment you step off the ferry boat. You're, even if you want to go at a fast pace, you can't. And uh, I think that sets the tone for the entire stay. And then certainly sitting on a rocker uh, on our front porch is hard to beat. Bill, I have to say that this place is the most awesome spot in terms of service, quality of entertainment, and the fact that the golf course, you're playing traditional golf on the front nine, the executive nine, yes, and a brand new back nine. It's awesome. And we have a lot of fun doing it. We come back because it's family and friends and great people. I've never met anybody here, but I haven't liked. There's no way to stand on that front porch on a sunny evening at our opening or closing reception 
and look out at the view and see all your friends and be in a bad mood. You can't do it. Well, unless you made a bunch of bogeys. <laughs> you still come then away you might, uh, but Well, I think that's the great part of, of the Mackinac and, and the experience when no matter how your day goes, no matter what you're doing, uh, this is a place where people come to get away. Uh, it's a, it, you can't build this place. You can't create a place with no automobiles. You can't create history. You can't tre create tradition. And that is what Mackinac and Grand Hotel is all about. So I think when you're right, after you've played a round of golf, good shots are bad. You're on the porch. Uh, you're taking in the view. Um, you know, you, you realize how lucky you are and what a special place it is. Well, uh, make no mistake. Uh, come. Yeah, this is, a, this is indeed a grand place uh, like none other. The uniqueness of Mackinac Island and Grand Hotel is not limited to just the hotel itself. Anyone who plays all 18 holes on the Jewel will experience an unmatched, unprecedented form of transportation when going from the Grand Nine to the woods. One of the wonderfully unique features of golf on the island is how we go from this nine to the woods nine jump in a horse-drawn carriage. If you plan things correctly, you'll take a little box lunch with you for that half hour ride. And then you get to Jerry's other creation, uh, the Woods Nine, which I, I happen to think is just special. It's, uh, you know, it's fabulous nine. It's uh, a mile and a quarter away from the hotel here, for, from the front nine. It's about a 20 to 30 minute carriage ride. So you get a little tour of the island while you're playing golf. Um, and most, of, we call it our Woods Nine for a reason. Most of the holes are cut through the woods. Um, you're up on the bluff on the west end of the island uh, overlooking the Mackinac Bridge. Um, it's more of a modern course. It's about 600 yards longer. The fairways are wider. Greens are a little bit bigger. Uh, so if you like to spray the ball a little bit, uh, you have that or opportunity if you don't on like the back to, but you do yes. it anyways. <laughs> so, but it's a peaceful uh, place to play some golf, that's for sure. The feel of the Woods 9 feels like northern Michigan. We try to actually avoid that phrase often on this show because a lot of courses claim that without legitimately being able to earn it. Right. The Woods Nine is Northern Michigan golf. It's it is. elevation, it's tree lined, and it's beautiful. Yeah. And, uh, and there's some great holes on uh, number 12, uh, you know, a 205 yard par three over, that you have to hit over a pond to get to the green. It's a pretty good challenge. And, you know, there's nothing better than ending your round on the 18th tee, uh, uh, which is tough par four uh, to end on, but, uh, you know, overlooking the uh, view out west, uh, overlooking the Mackinac Bridge and such, it's a great way to end your round. It seems like word has caught on that it's fun to play golf on the island. I, I can remember not that long ago where people would say, oh, there's golf there? And it seems now like, and you probably know this firsthand, people are coming here prepared for golf. They want to play. Well, they do, and uh, we're, we've had a busy summer, and busy couple last couple of years have been pretty steady. And uh, it's, you know, we're still trying to get word out that we have golf here on the island. Uh, we do offer golf packages at, at the hotel. Uh, to get you to come out and play and uh, some people do come prepared but even if you didn't come prepared we uh, rent clubs uh, here at the shop we have everything in the pro shop to, uh, to get you started to get you on the course we've had some fun over the years with our our grand getaway package we put you to a lot of work i just take the glory you do all the work it's a pretty good deal for me to you what's special about the uh, the grand golf getaway well the, the thing i thought was special about the package is when it started out it was it was kind of small and you know, folks came up on their own and really didn't know uh, other folks. And, and that was kind of the neat thing about the package. They met new friends and, and over the years, these uh, new friends kind of met up over, or, you know, the next year and, and year after that, they keep coming back and, and they keep needing more friends. And so every year, it seems like our package keeps growing and growing. And uh, we have about 115, 120 players this season. So it's gonna be a good crew uh, for this fall. For the people who come in for unlimited golf, they, they seem to be taking advantage of that. They're, they're playing a lot of golf. So uh, you come under that Michigan Golf Live package, uh, it's unlimited golf throughout your stay. Of course, we offer the 18 hole scramble where we hand out a few prizes for the event. There's a couple of cocktail receptions that are involved to welcome you to the hotel and one after the golf event where we hand out those surprises. So. The Grand Hotel itself, um, there's not a venue like that. Well, it's a there. whole experience. It's a, it, it's a total package. It's a getaway. Um, it's an immersion in the history, uh, but in a contemporary way. Where else are you going to go <laughs> ride a, a horse, a, go, uh, a wagon between your rounds, between the front nine and the back nine? It's, uh, it's, it's just so unique, you can't find it anywhere. Meet Lincoln and Cadillac are forms of transportation here at Grand Hotel. 
I do hope you'll make plans to visit this special place by going online to grandhotel.com. And we'll see you next time on MGL TV.